Well, I did have a topic all picked out for this Thursday's video and in my head I had it planned out on where and how I was going to film it outside like I do normally with my videos. But let's just say the weather is not cooperating right now and uh, it's just not going to happen. So I think I'll leave that topic for next Thursday's video. But I still want to talk with you about something that I've been thinking a lot about recently. And that is a need for us as believers to live radically mundane Christian lives. It's become cliche in many church circles to say that we need to live radically for God. But what does that even mean? What does it look like? And unfortunately, I think a lot of Christians associate it with doing something big and something spectacular. And a lot of that, I think, is due to the culture that we live in, which is fixated on the big and the flashy and the grand. And so what I want to argue is that living simply is living radically today. And living a ordinary, mundane Christian life in a culture that is addicted to the sensational is living radically for God. Now, this is somewhat embarrassing to admit, especially on camera. But when I was a younger man, I was a lot like the fictional character uh, George Bailey on the Christmas classic, It's a Wonderful Life. But instead of having big dreams about uh, building bridges and skyscrapers, as a young man, I was determined that I was be going to become a great preacher. I was going to become the next Billy Graham, the next Jonathan Edwards, the next John Wesley. God was going to use me to bring revival to this world. Well, that never happened. In fact, I never did join the ministry, <laughs> which was a good thing. Trust me, that was good. I was in no state to uh, be a shepherd of God's flock back then. I met my wife. Uh, we got married, and we went against the social norm by uh, deciding to have a large family. That's being radical these days. We, had, uh, we have five kids, and four are biological. One is adopted. My wife, she decided that she wanted to homeschool her kids. So she's a stay-at-home mom. Another radical thing these days. And so that makes me the sole bread winner. And I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a highly paid professional. Uh, I'm not, I don't have an exciting career. I'm just an ordinary working guy. And so that means we don't have a lot of money and um, we don't live in a big fancy house. We don't drive brand new cars. We buy used cars and basically drive them until we're forced to buy another one. And holidays, <laughs> vacations, well, we don't go to some exotic place to go lay down on a beach. We go to the local beaches, preferably the free ones. Now, some of you might say, yes, but you're the one minute preacher. That's pretty exciting. That's pretty big. Well, not really. Um, let's just say that I'm not exactly a YouTube sensation. None of my video videos have ever gone viral. I think I've done about 200 videos now and only two have come close to around 2000 views. So nothing, not a big flash, certainly on Facebook or YouTube. And yet I can honestly say just like George Bailey in It's a Wonderful Life that when I look at my life, I'm, yeah, I'm living a wonderful life. I've got a great family and hey, at least you're watching this video. So I want to encourage you to live the radically mundane Christian life. Don't worry about trying to do big and grand things for God. Just love your spouse, love your family, be faithful at your church. And just as my childhood pastor would always say, bloom where you are planted. Just live an ordinary life. And that is living radically for God. Live a radically mundane Christian life to God's glory. Thanks so much. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a share. And uh, I hope to see you next Thursday. Bye for now.